Hello and welcome to Who Rocks New Mexico. I'm Richard Holcomb. Each week, we get up close and personal with the companies that rock New Mexico and take you behind the scenes to get the story behind the story. Today, we'll talk with Joni Griffin of Griffin & Associates, who turns perceptions into facts. We'll have some fun in the sun at Elephant Butte, and we'll talk to Mark and Nicole Tobiasen from Action Coach Business Coaching and see why coaching isn't just for sports anymore. But first, meet Buck Buckner of Rain Tunnel Car Spas and learn about the science of a shiny, clean car. Well, Rain Tunnel is a legacy company here in Albuquerque. It's been here for 40 years. It was started in 1972. One of the unique things about Rain Tunnel Car Spa is that we're located in all your major business centers. We're downtown Old Town, we're University Hospital, and now our new location is lab-based focus. When you come to Car Spa, you're gonna find a chemistry that's all about being environmentally friendly and gentle cleaning to your car. We don't use harsh chemicals. Uh, we use spot free rinse that's removed all the uh, solids from the water before the water is applied. I'm proud to say I'm a scientist and uh, Albuquerque in its history, uh, we've got quite a few people here in town that are scientists. I'm an engineer by, by training, degree, and license. I think I bring a lot to the table in really having an in-depth understanding of how to apply certain formulas and soaps to a vehicle to get the absolute clean, but we don't want to stop just there. We have brought forward technologies in all three car cleaning centers, right, that we believe delivers the best and the cleanest shiny car that, that we can offer the patrons here in Albuquerque. The wash process begins by first fully wetting the car. We soak the car with high pressure water first and foremost. And then we put a pre-soak on the car. And this pre-soak is a foam that's generated similar to shaving cream. Once we apply the foam which creates this lubricity for us, then the vehicle moves on into rotating wraps that we have in the car. They are hydraulically driven, but they begin to spin and this particular material is extended as foam fingers and they are actually touch, softly touching the car and removing this loosened film and dirt from the car. This material is a man-made synthetic. It's a closed cell foam where it doesn't retain water, it doesn't retain dirt and you're continuously running water on the foam, keeping it rinsed, keeping it clean, but it actually polishes the car as well. We have another material that we use in the wash that cleans the horizontal surfaces. And this material has microfibers that are one one hundredth of a hair follicle. This particular fiber is so fine that it's, and it's so soft, and when it's applied to the car, it does not scratch or harm these important paint finishes and clear coats on the car, but it moves very slowly across the top and the horizontal surfaces, and it cleans all the horizontal surfaces in the car. We blow every car out. They'll take that red towel with the airlines, they'll blow out all the mirrors, all the crevices on the car that may leak water when you leave the car wash. Sometimes that runs down the sides, it looks terrible. We blow all that out and make sure all that's gone. Once they've done that, they'll enter the vehicle with the airlines again and they'll blow in between the seats. They'll get the vacuum and they'll start vacuuming the top of the mats. They pull the mats out, they'll vacuum the bottom of the mat. They'll put the mat back in the vehicle, vacuum the mat again. They'll start at the top of the seats, vacuum from the top of the seat to the bottom, to the bottom of the seat. When I bring my car to rain tunnel, um, I notice that they do an efficient job, but they also take the time to make sure that my car is actually clean. Well, I think that when I come here, I know that the service is going to be good. I also know that the quality, my car is going to be clean. I don't have to touch it up later. It's, and it's consistent. It's always that way. While some companies are focused on cleaning your car, Rain Tones' primary focus is on shiny clean. Shiny clean and the brilliance of that vehicle, I think, uh, creates the greatest appreciation for the vehicle. 
A lot of places rock our state too. Here's another Travel Guide New Mexico moment. Welcome to Hatch, the chili capital of the world. Located about halfway between Las Cruces and Truth or Consequences, the village of Hatch is an agricultural community. With several restaurants to choose from, Hatch is a great rest stop if you're taking that long road trip along the I-25 corridor. Here's the ultimate question in Hatch, red or green? For me, it's green. Red. Hot or mild? Hot. Mild. Mild? Are you a native? Yes. I don't know any natives that just use mild chili. What's that all about? I don't know. Hot. How hot? Mucho hot. The hotter the better, yes sir. Medium to hot. Medium to hot, what does that mean? <laughs> it means it has to have a burn, but it doesn't fry my tongue. How about this, does it have to burn enough that we get this Oh yeah, this starts sweating. Yeah, that's okay, that's hot enough? <laughs> All right, cool. That makes it hot enough. <laughs> so what is it, red or green? I think he puts it on his chicken. If you live in New Mexico, or anywhere else in the world for that matter, you have to come to Hatch the chili capital of the world on Labor Day weekend and experience the annual Hatch Chili Festival. Just look at all the thousands of people that are here doing that very thing right now. Every year more than 30,000 chili fanatics converge on Hatch for the Chili Festival. Events include a chili cook-off, chili roasting, a parade, a carnival, and a whole lot more. Well, I've got my green chili sausage, and whether you're a green chili fan, a red chili fan, or you like Christmas tree, you'll get your fix for chili right here at the Hatch Chili Festival every Labor Day weekend. What a great little town. The next time you're traveling I-25, don't pass it by. Take a break at Hatch and give it a try. Next, find out how Mark and Nicole Tobias of Action Coach are helping business owners find their way through today's economic challenges. If green is your thing, you'll want to attend Albuquerque Business First Sustainable Business Summit Awards Luncheon and Expo Thursday, August 29th at the Crown Plaza. This half-day green business conference will feature panel discussions and presentations by New Mexico's top performers in sustainable buildings, businesses, products, services, and workplaces. Join us as we learn from and award those for whom green is not just a buzzword. That's Thursday, August 29th at the Crown Plaza. To register, go to albuquerquebusinessfirst.com forward slash events. What you don't need when it's time to close your mortgage is a nameless, faceless voice at the other end of a 1-800 number. What you do need is a licensed local loan officer who will attend your closing, sit with you and answer every one of the questions that you will surely have as you read and sign over 57 legal documents. At Frost Mortgage, we're licensed, we're professional, and we're local. We don't just close loans, we open doors. Hundreds of New Mexico business owners have maximized their potential and profits by utilizing Action Coach Business Coaching. Let's find out why. My goals are to add jobs to New Mexico, plain and simple. By adding jobs to New Mexico means that the business community here is stronger, and my passion is helping people. Action Coach was started about 20 years ago in Brisbane, Australia, by Brad Sugars, who was a self-made millionaire who at an early age, in his early 20s, started buying, fixing, and selling businesses. Brad Sugars reminds me of a modern day Napoleon Hill, uh, which many people are familiar with, and he was actually Henry Ford's mentor. Brad is, I think, one of the most brilliant business minds I've encountered in my life, and he's 
the man who personally started um, Action Code, and his whole purpose in life is to show business owners that there's a better way to run a business, a stronger way to run a business that really enables them to live to their full potential through their business model. And we kind of stumbled upon um, Action Coach, and while it's a franchise, it really struck us because what Action Coach is about globally is giving business owners um, re-education, if you will, global tools, um, proven systems that help enrich their overall operation and help them live a better life. We brought Action Coach to New Mexico about five years ago to help small to mid-sized business owners achieve more money, a better team, and more time through using these systems. So my name is Eric Bergmeier. I'm a certified public accountant. I own my own firm. The name of the firm is Bergmeier & Associates. I've been coached by Action Coach for the last year. Yeah, the differences that Action Coach has brought to the company for me is really began to help me uh, run a business and that was very difficult for me to kind of move out of what I've, where I've typically been as a CPA technician to now become more of a uh, CPA CEO if you will. Our financial growth has been substantial and uh, we've now been able to bring on more accounting staff as a result and have allowed myself and my wife who's my partner to begin to have a little bit more free time. Uh, I would tell anybody who would be considering working with Action Coach that it would probably be one of the wisest decisions they'd ever make. Whenever possible, I find myself in front of one of my clients. I, I use a lot of what Mark has, has taught me. I, I, a tremendous, tremendous return on that investment. Shelley Branscombe with Maestas and Ward has grown 75% in the last 12 months, which in commercial real estate, I think that's that's doing amazingly well. My name is Shelley Branscombe and I work at NAI Maestas and Ward as a commercial real estate broker and I specialize in office space. I've been coached by Action Coach for the past 15 months. I would describe their coaching style as very open and communicative. They style it to my business and what my interests are, but they also encourage me to step outside the box so that I can grow and become uh, an expert in my field. The difference that coaching has made to my knowledge and skill is not only to help me develop within my own industry, but also to develop myself outside of my industry. The tangible results that I have seen uh, year to date over last year, my business is up in profits 146%. We absolutely love helping business owners achieve their goals and their dreams for their businesses and their life. We start off with a complimentary coaching session that we'll offer any viewer and they can learn more about that process when they go to our website actionbusinesssuccess.com or they can just call our team at 798-2552. Up next, meet one of New Mexico's top spin doctors. Who Rocks is asking you to save the date for the 2013 Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. The most spectacular sights and sounds that you'll ever see. And to get you ready for this year's Balloon Fiesta, Who Rocks New Mexico is going to share highlights of last year's event. Enjoy! Uh, this is one of my most prized possessions, is my collection of the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta posters. We have 23 of the 33 posters, and each year we can't wait until a new poster comes out. Uh, one of my favorites is 1983 uh, by Stephen St. Germain, and is the balloons as planets around our solar system. Every one of our posters is signed and numbered by the artist, which makes them a great investment over the years. Having the, the balloon posters on the walls in our house, it's like having the balloon fiesta year-round in our house. We use talented New Mexico artists to create the images, to capture that piece of the balloon fiesta as only New Mexicans can. If you look back to 2007 when Daryl Willison did the whimsical cowboy image, 
The image itself is called Dare to Dream, and the reason being is that we're all a part of it, that everybody that comes to Fiesta is as big a part of it as the balloons themselves. You know, when you get a commission that's a little bit out of the norm of the work that you normally, that, that you do, it's always very challenging. So you, you scramble and you, you're thinking, how do I represent the theme of, of the event? And not just to represent the theme, but to make an artistic statement with the work. They were both really good challenges and I really got excited about them and I was, I was really glad that I could, I could actually translate the whole idea of the Balloon Fiesta into a, what I consider to be a strong painting. Our poster artist for 2012 is local artist Dee Sanchez and she has captured with her unique style a piece of New Mexico. I wanted to include a lot of New Mexico. Um, I'm known for painting sunflowers, so I definitely wanted those in there. I had to put mountains in because that's what we're known for. Chemisa, I had to put a, a stream of water running through it. I had to hide a road runner in it. The Balloon Fiesta poster has not only become the face of the event, it has become a collectible that is cherished all over the world. We sell these posters through our gift shop, through our internet site, a variety of wholesalers, the Bloom Museum, frame shops, galleries around. It has become a worldwide piece, and we have collectors who come back to us year after year after year, and we ship these products all over the world. What artists do with a paintbrush, Joni Griffin and her team at Griffin & Associates do with words. People have a lot of confusion about what public relations is versus advertising, and oftentimes people think they're one and the same, and they're not. Public relations is what we call earned or free media. And so those are the news stories that you read or see or listen to on the radio. Advertising is paid space, and they really work hand in glove. Public relations should be a strategy that every business incorporates in their overall marketing plan. So when you are featured in the news media, whether that's an article or it's a blog or you're on TV in a positive light, that gives your company immediate credibility. So an example is the town of Taos. This is a client I'm particularly proud of. Um, we have been doing the tourism marketing for the town for the past five and a half years. And one of our strategies is that we send out press releases every single week on Taos, nationally and internationally. And what's happened with that is we're averaging now about 500 news stories a month mentioning Taos, some small publications and some very major ones. So Travel and Leisure um, in their September issue named Taos um, one of the best winter getaways. And then we send out a press release announcing that. And then that gets picked up by other publications like AOL just did that one. We sent out a press release about how dog-friendly Taos is. And we did some research and there are more dog-friendly restaurants and hotels per capita than any other city in the United States. So we named Taos the most dog-friendly city in the United States. That got picked up majorly nationally. And so the PR just keeps repeating itself and Taos now is at the top of all the really fabulous lists and those lists just keep generating more media and more media and more media and more tourists. You have to work at containing Joni, not motivating her. So she's a, she's a whirlwind. Um, she's always got a new idea and a new direction to go, no matter what your budget is, no matter what your industry. Um, certainly tourism was not necessarily, when she began, a specialty of hers, but she made it a specialty, and she did incredible work for us. So another example of a successful PR campaign is here locally Mesa del Sol, which is a new housing development on the south end of town. Mesa del Sol uh, had a few problems in the beginning. They, they kicked off with a bang and then when the housing bust happened, they stalled for three years. And then 2011, we came in to take it over again and the media was like, yeah, whatever. You know, are you really, is it for real? You started and stopped, now you're starting again. Yeah, sure. But we were successful in convincing the media of how successful the development is by once again sending out regular news releases. We did that locally as well as regionally as well as nationally and in industry publications. And in the one year time that we've had that contract, we've had over 500 stories placed on Mesa del Sol. We've had phenomenal success in working with Griffin & Associates. Just, a, just the amount of public relations, news clips, and, and print media that we've received um, has provided a huge return on the investment. 
Griffin & Associates was founded in January of 1990. We have 10 people that work here, and the average tenure of our employees is 14 years. So we've all worked together for so long. There is this synergy that happens amongst us where we can practically think each other's thoughts and usually finish each other's sentences. So when we're working on a client project, that creativity, that energy, that, that family relationship that we have really spurs us into all levels of new creativity. You know, these people are they're like an extension of my family, essentially, because I'm here with them all the time. And I think us being able to work so closely together, we really are able to give our clients just the best of all of us. I mean, I think it says something too that we work in an office that is a home that's been converted into an office. Yeah. So I sometimes joke or when I bring clients here, you know, I'll say, you know, it's like I leave home and then I come home. I moved to New Mexico in January of 1983 and at the time I thought I'd be here for two years. Well, here I am 30 years later. I love New Mexico. This community is unbelievable. I think it's one of the best places in the world to do business. People are so friendly and welcoming and it's such a business friendly environment and it's a place where you can really make a mark. So it's why I've been here for 30 years and I will be here as long as I'm here. No water in Elephant Butte Lake? Who's kidding who? Coming up next. Hi, I'm Doug Wilson, the owner of American Tire and Service. Do you know what makes a great mechanic? What makes one shop better than another? Training is mighty important. Certification, you bet. Experience, the more the better. Knowledge, cars are complicated nowadays, and believe me, these mechanics need to know a lot. But do you know what really makes a great mechanic? Heart. It's a passion that drives a mechanic to do the right thing every time. At American Tire, it's the first thing we look for in a mechanic. Of course they have the training, the certifications, the experience, and the knowledge. But heart is what makes it all work for you and for us. Our entire team is dedicated to professional service. We all know that's what it takes to bring you back. We've been helping people like you for over 25 years. We're locally owned and proud to serve you. Come ask for me by name, Doug Wilson. I'd love to serve you. American Tire and Service on Highway 528 between Southern and Northern. The only guys for you. This month at Frost Mortgage, we are offering our clients 3.5% 30-year fixed rate mortgages. Do you have a 3.5% mortgage? If not, call Frost Mortgage and get one. Well, they say the water level in Elephant Butte Lake is down. And I want you to know that Who Rocks New Mexico traveled south to find out for ourselves the shocking truth coming up. It's been called the jewel of the desert, the largest body of water in New Mexico, surrounded by 200 miles of shoreline. And for camping, fishing, boating, water skiing, jet skiing, and just plain outdoor fun, the Elephant Butte Recreation Area is one big summer party for all ages. Here at uh, Elephant Butte, it's amazing. Every year you get these families from all over the state of New Mexico and some from Western Texas and even Arizona come here to Elephant Butte Lake. Some come once a summer and some come every weekend. What makes Elephant Butte Lake so great is the multitude of opportunities for people to recreate. There's the fishing, there's swimming, there's wakeboarding, there's wake surfing, there's water skiing, and there's just hanging out. All those things are options on the lake. If you don't have your own boat, but you love the water, you can rent a boat. Welcome to Sports Adventure Marina. It's your uh, full service rental company on Elephant Butte Lake. We feature jet skis, ski boats, wakeboarding boats, standard pontoon boats, deluxe pontoon boats. We have all the water toys, the knee boards, the wakeboards, the tubes for a full day of enjoyment on Elephant Butte Lake. We specialize in fishing kayaks. Those are the sit-on-tops. 
and we outfit them with fishing gear and fish finders and we also rent kayaks so people come here and they just have a ball on the lake. When you're on a kayak, you're part of nature. You're a floating log out there. And it's interesting how sometimes the duck will jump up on the bow of the boat and we wind up having to tell them, go away, go away. And it's fun. Elephant View Lake is one of the few places in the country where you can come and park your tent or your RV right next to the water. You have your own beachfront property. And if roughing it means no room service for you, there's a number of motels around, lots of restaurants and that sort of thing. There's also some wonderful hotels like the Elephant Butte Inn and Marina Suites and River Bend Hot Springs and uh, Holiday Inn Express. The Elephant Butte Inn, we have a, of course a gorgeous swimming pool and we also have a spa and salon. We have a tavern and a restaurant. Uh, we also have a RV park right across the street, the Elephant Butte Lake RV Resort that has some great huge RV sites that can uh, accommodate boats, jet skis, fifth wheels. If you want a unique experience, we have what we call aqua lodges. They're houseboats moored for you. You're on the water 24-7. Sleep 10, barbecue grill, oven, and hot showers. Elephant Butte is absolutely the boating capital of New Mexico where we have the largest lake and an entire community is made up of businesses and tourism that accommodate over 100,000 visitors in any holiday weekend. And if you don't own a boat and come to Elephant Butte, you're missing out on probably one of the nicest recreational experiences that you'll ever find anywhere in the world, more or less New Mexico. One of the funny things we keep hearing is that the lake is gone and we're just a mud puddle. I had to dive right here just the other day and I was down 50 feet. We're an irrigation lake. We feed people from here all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. The lake is going to be here and anything you want to do on the lake will still be available to you. There are many dentists around New Mexico, many of whom offer similar services. So what makes Dr. Greg Lepore of Smiles by Design so different? Well, you're about to see. You know, we have an idea of health that we want each person to have because we know how important oral health is. But oftentimes they don't necessarily want to go there right away. They, they want to go at their pace. And so I always say that we're the navigators um, and they're the captain of the ship. I've been a patient of uh, Greg Lepore's for uh, three to four years. He did total mouth reconstruction on me. Smiles by design have given me my smile back and give me uh, confidence to uh, get in front of people again and uh, not sit, be uh, so ashamed of my smile and, and uh, the uh, bad teeth that I had at one time. I'm Marcy Cates and I'm a retired dental hygienist. After years of going through reparative dentistry, having crowns replaced, fillings replaced, with crowns, broken crowns, I knew there was a better way. I went to see a prosthodontist, um, an orthodontist, and several dentists. And strangely enough, they referred me back to Dr. Lepore. You know, I have to say, I really enjoy coming to work every day. Ultimately, it's because of the patients, you know, to have the interaction with them and to enjoy them. And I know it sounds cliche-ish, um, but that is why we're here. You know, if we don't have the patients, there's no reason to come to work. Well, that's Who Rocks for this week. I hope you liked the show as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. For more information on the Who Rocks segments or to find out how your organization can rock New Mexico, we invite you to go online to whorocksnm.com. I'm Richard Holcomb, inviting you to join us again next week for another Who Rocks New Mexico. Have a great week, everybody.